None of this was yours. I know. Which makes it no easier to bear. The pain Another will day pass gone in to time. Shit. I'd like to believe that. I would. You may have a moment with her. And then we must bury her and return to Nobleback. Very well. Leave me alone! I don't need really to yell. Relax. Let's give her a moment to gather her wits. Once she has come, return to Nobleback. Yes, sir. Board, I could spew. You know, you might be a little nicer, damn. Scrum before I lose my patience. Bitch, I will own your ass. Witcher. Graydon. Wings Who locked? Howling. <laughs> Who knocked all these damn doors? Alright. Well, that ended about how I figured it was going to... I guess. Now I'm really curious what would happen if I would have picked the beads. Uh, I'll probably look it up. I'm trying, like, I'm trying not to... Well, I guess there's no... Do or do not, there is no try. I'm trying not to, like, reload any saves based on choices I make. So that way the choices are, like, you're making this choice, you better stick with it type of a situation. Uh, which, of course, makes it that much more difficult, but I think that's what kind of gives... Oh, nice. That's what gives this kind of thing power, right? Is the fact that you really have to think about it. It's not like, oh, I'm going to check this. I'll check the other thing, and then I'll just pick the, the thing I like best. Believe me, I really want to. But um, at nothing else, I'll just check online to see what it was. And if it was the bad bad one, it's the bad one. I can't promise I'll make through the whole game like that. But I'm, I'm going to try to stick with my, my options. But this has been... Without question, a phenomenal quest line. Probably one of the best quest lines I've ever seen in an RPG, period. This has been fantastic. Uh, all the way through the Baron's quest line has just been amazing. The only downside of that is like, man, I know there probably won't be any more quest lines like this awesome uh, for the rest of the game. Which, I mean, I'm sure there'll be plenty of other good ones. But it's like, man, this is probably, probably the highlight. This is as good as it gets, which, again, it's, that bar is super high. What the hell happened? Hanged himself. Plain enough to see. Himself, or did you boys help him? The fuck did you take me for? A murderer? He was what he was. A right bastard. But I respected him. If I'm to choose between a greater and lesser evil, I'd rather not choose at all. Usually, though, the stakes are just too damn high. Sometimes in choosing a greater evil, you do good, albeit in a small way. When I chose to save the orphans of the swamp, I couldn't know Anna would die. And I never thought the Baron would leave his wife where she lay, find a rope, and hang himself. Most times, you make your choice, and never look back. Lost everything he cared for. No surprise he lost the will to live. Don't look too concerned, you and your boys. What would you have us do? Sit and wail? Baron was a good soldier. But settling in here at Crow's Perch, it made him soft. We'll introduce a new order. Things will be different now. I imagine they will. Our boys what do you say? We hit the high road. For a roll Set out. <laughs> Where's my money? Oh, I got it. All right, that quest line is completely done. Damn, what a quest line. All right, so I wasn't going to play a whole lot longer. Let's go do at least one more little side quest here. Come on. Get on, Roach, there. Giddy up. All right, let's look at quests. Yes, I know. Damn. I don't know why that comes up all the time. Yeah, that's, that's definitely one of those quest lines I'd love to find out. Like, the big question to me is what happens if you didn't release the horse spirit thing uh it, what i presume that the only difference 
would be that it wouldn't have destroyed that town. Like, that town would probably still be okay. Um, also, I guess the flip side is the children would not have been saved. So maybe Anna would not have been cursed. So maybe she'd have been able to get out. Maybe we could fought the the three ladies of the forest. I don't know. But I also, it needs to be said that the ladies of the forest characters are cool as hell. I really like those characters. Anyway, let's look at... Do we have any contracts that are low? Oh, yeah, Swamp Thing. That's like one level away. How far is it? Return a week. Oh, right, right, right. We did that one. I was like, oh, man. I was like, man, I thought we did that. And we did. So, secondary quests. Uh, that's like the fighting stuff. I'll probably do this stuff later. The fighting, uh, the specific Gwents, the races, just to kind of catch up on that. Um, wow, we actually don't have any other smaller quests. So, I'm going to actually run around real quick it, and find a billboard. And then we'll do one quest before I uh, log for the night. But good news is going forward, I don't expect those of you who are watching this as I upload, I don't foresee any more gaps in uploads. So anyway, talk to you in a bit. All right, I'm in mid cops, mid copes. Gonna grab some, uh, hopefully grab some quest. Old Millie's gone mad. Old Millie's lost whatever wits he had left. Running around the yard in nothing but his nighties, yelling horrible ludities and smearing mud pies on anyone who walks close to the fence. Best, best avoid his place, essentially, if you're a freshly laundered dress on. Repent! The ladies of the wood are unhappy, so the trees whisper. The offerings we make are not enough. We pray too seldom, and too often we take their name in vain. Mend your ways, good folk. Show contrition and fervor in your faith, for if the ladies to abandon us, we will all perish in this forsaken bog. Quiet after dark. Take heed not to wander about after dark, nor make any unnecessary racket. Keep your windows covered if you burn a candle, and don't throw any damp branches likely to smoke onto the fire. We have enough trouble in the village without attracting more. Hey, it's Elderman. Keep away from the Nilfgaardians. I'll shear the hair off any trop who fraternizes with the Nilfgaardians, so her baldness will proclaim her shame to all. And I'll carve the face of any peddler who deals with the black ones, a, or provides them a service. <laughs> a patriot. Contract Jenny O the Woods. Hark! Some de devilry's taken hold on our fields. Something, something neither spirit nor phantom. Old Will swears on his mother's grave it's like to be Jenny of the Woods. Whether it is or if it ain't, be careful and don't go out in the fields alone, and most certainly not without a scythe or a rake in hand. But if you the courage to drive the foul thing off, you'll receive a handsome reward. Volko. Pantry's been robbed. To the thief who's nipping goods out of my pantry soon as I put them there. That sausage you took last week, I prepared it especially for you. From the bloated carcass of a mare I found in the muck, rotten eggs, and a handful of larva. I then spat in it for seasoning and added some other highly personal ingredients. I hope you ate your fill, you scurvy dog. Hell yeah. That's how you deal with lunch dealers. Truly the scum of the earth. Jenny of the Woods. Was there another quest in there? I was going to do that instead. Nope. Well, it is. Jenny of the Woods it is. Let me go sharpen my axe and polish my armor. And by axe, I mean sword, and by polish the armor, I mean, I guess, polish my leather armor? Don't know how that really works. Come on, where is it? Is it over here? I think it... Where's that wheel? Damn it. Yeah, there's that. Sure. Where's the... Is it inside? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Duh. Looking at the wrong one. Christ. Damn it. Yeah. Jump over that fire. Good job, girl. All right. Now... Let's take a look at... Damn it. To hell. I don't need that coming up every time, game. I got it. Oh, Jenny the Woods, level 10. We definitely want to do this now. 
So, here's the plan. It, if I don't stop myself, I'll do every damn quest in this game. So what I'm going to at least try to do is only do quests if they give me experience. Once they start dropping to the point they give me no XP, I'll skip them. Isn't easy. In Not theory. At all. Greetings. What do ye want? So the notice about Jenny of the Woods, you posted it, right? Uh, maybe. Oh, I. Twas me. You do it. You's a witcher, is you not? Straight off, a picture in me granny's book. I sure is. Monstrum, or a portrayal of witchers. Remember, like it were today, we be afeard of her. But Jenny of the Woods, what's she to you? Let's talk rewards. Hmm. Oh, yeah. So, how much would ye wish? Oh, have it your way. I figure I might as well can't push it very far anyway. I'm on it. Know if anyone's seen Jenny of the Woods? Could tell me more about her. Old Willem must have. But he won't tell you naught. He were weak of heart. We found him in the fields this morning. Other folk are afeard to go out nights. But you might try Agneta. Lives at the end of the village. Word is she saw the wraith. And nothing happened to her? She wasn't hurt? Agneta? Outlived three husbands, that one. Jenny of the Woods won't do naught to that wench. If it weren't for our fair helpers ruling the wilds, we'd have starved long past. <laughs> Feels like it dropped me out of that conversation a little bit fast. Uh, just for extra pay, I'm gonna have to steal all your shit. A platter? That's nah, fine. You got a floor, you can eat off of that. This way she can sleep better. And I can steal her stuff without her knowing. Or anybody knowing. Except you, the witnesses. Alright, so her house is at the end of the village, it's in. Oh. Or I can just look at the map. Uh, fine, take my phone. Hey, she said in this this building, right? I think she's in this this barrel, probably. No, is that her? The candle? Maybe it's... Maybe she was in the barrel. Girl, you having trouble, buddy? Tell me what you know, Dwarven Spirit. Honestly, what I'm wanting more than anything else is... Uh, Don't you look at me. Shut up. You little shit. I swear to God. I will break this broken... rake right up your ass. are you? Nope, fuck the Baron. Oh wait, no, Baron's cool. Well, Baron's also dead. Uh, and also, by the way, I actually did have that spoiled for me. I did hear that he uh, took his own life in the end, so... Send me man to the creek. Wraith that haunts the village. Heard you can tell me about it. Oh, I, I saw her. Saw Jenny of the woods with mine own eyes. Like I sees you now, Witcher. What did she look like? In detail, please try. Did she have a magnificent beard Truth like I did? told, I didn't see her too clearly. It, it were growing dim, see? And this pale shape loomed afore me, mist-like. Mm. I comes closer, and the cloud thickened, and something like a visage came out of the mist. What did you do? What do you think, me love? That I'd wait to see the wraith in full glory? Ran to the village to tell folk what I'd seen. I see. So she appeared to you just after twilight? Important clue, thanks. You take care now. Alright, probably one of those mist wraith things. So we're gonna head that way and I'm probably gonna go ahead and like once we think we're getting close. Uh, use an oil. The fuck? You just like spit on your plants? I like to spit on the corn. Something my family's done for generations makes it grow better, faster. A woman came through here. Barefoot. Well, that doesn't seem smart. Looks like she's actually going into the village. But then the footsteps just stop. Yeah, I mean, unless her feet are backwards. A woman came through here. Barefoot. It definitely seems like... She was going into the village. I'm gonna guess we get to find other signs. I guess the other ones washed away or did whatever. 
tracks do. You just can't tame wild tracks, baby. You gotta let them run free. Anything in this bush? No. Yeah, this quest in particular sounds familiar. I don't remember anything about it, but I, I know, remember the name. Where the hell? Now see and jack shit, girl. I need to examine. Oh wait, there's one. Damn it. A piece of fabric, possibly from a dress, got snagged on the undergrowth. Stride indicates she was running. Probably why she tore her dress. Somebody chase her. Now these are red again. Oh, now you'll let me follow them further. Some bullshit right there. She ran this way. Oh, there we go. I didn't just double back, did I? I feel like I double back. Yeah, I did. Damn it. I'm gonna grab this bush, whatever it is. My glowing's uh, just putting me off. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's some more glowy footprints. Some enemies out there, I see. Oh, damn. Couldn't outrun her pursuer. He stabbed her or slit her throat. Strange. Left the knife behind. Dried blood on it. Could come in handy. <laughs> Dragged the body through here. Clear trail. Jesus, was she like a giant? <laughs> yeah, dried blood. I'm always needing dried blood. What does that mean, Geralt, again? You just keep the weirdest thing. You might be a hoarder, Geralt. No, no, I, I might use this dried blood for something one day. Yeah, what, what are you going to use it for, girl? What are you going to use it for? Uh, you know, I just, you know, sometimes, you know, the window breaks and you got to, you know, fix it with dried blood. Girl, that doesn't even make sense. It's just, just throw it away. No, no, I need it. I thought I was going to be the one in control here. Oh, no. Oh, that's not what we're looking for, but I'm going to take it. Crow's eye. Crow T robot? No. Oh, damn. Here we go. Lugged the body all the way to the woods, buried it here. Shallow grave. Murderer must have been pressed for time. Something sticking out. A letter. Let's see what it says, shall we? Quest related. Even though I told him I don't want to know him, I know you're not afraid of Bokai, but I am. He says he loves me, but it's not the kind of love I want with you. It's a fierce, frightening kind. Bokai won't leave us alone either. We have to run. Leave your reply in the usual spot. You're Zula. The scorned lover killed the woman, seems to me. A night wraith. Alderman probably knew the girl. I had to ask him. Alright. Hey, let's go talk to the elder and find out exactly what he knows. The enemy's close by, but they're smart. They stayed away. Damn it, stop building oh. fences and stuff. You're throwing me off. Uh, oh. I know, right? God, it's ridiculous. Sir. <laughs> Sir, that's Mr. Geralt of Rivia. Greetings. What do ye want? God, rude still. Zula and Bakai. Did you know them? They must have lived in this village. Good God, he knows. Tis witchery. Yeah, I read a letter. They disappeared, both of them, into thin air. We've not seen them a week now. I found the girl's grave and a letter. It's clear she rejected Bakai because she loved another. Zula and Ontan, aye. We thought they'd fled north to seek happiness there. Bokai departed round the same time. 
So that's to mean Arzul is the wraith. Can't be. Such a good lass. And so pretty. Any idea where they used to meet? Mm, well, can't say for sure. But the young uns, they go to the clearing, mostly west of the village, past the fields. Zula. Good gods. Easy. Not at all. No way I can hope to lift this curse. Gotta drive the wraith away. Stand a chance if I can bind it to one spot for a while. <laughs> 